What's going on everybody? C4 here and welcome to episode 8 of the London Black Knights Relocation Franchise Mode. If you missed the last episode, it was a live stream. It wasn't a normally edited video like this, uh, which was actually pretty good. We played the Green Bay Packers. We're able to get out a victory. So now we are sitting at a 3-0 record as we get ready to host the 0-3 Kansas City Chiefs flying across the pond. Jet lag has been an absolute killer for some of the teams that we've had to play. So uh, we're looking to go... 4-0. Go down defeated. 4-0, baby. So, before we do our quick scouting report, we'd like to welcome a new patron to the squad and show their players. As always, guys, if you want to support me, as well as get your own player featured in this series, my Patreon is linked right below there in the video description. It's an awesome way to help support me out. I mean, the YouTube adpocalypse is not as bad, but it's still pretty brutal. So if you like to, uh, and you've enjoyed my content, you'd like to go your way to help me out, that's the best way to do it. And we are looking now here at the Pittsburgh Steelers, who are welcoming a new franchise quarterback. Originally, they had Josh Dobbs. Let's be real, Josh Dobbs is not a starting quarterback in the NFL. So we're welcoming Brett Ferdinand from Iowa State, 82 overall with that superstar dev trait. You got the 95 throw fire, absolute cannon. You got the 86 throw on the run as well. He's built like a mobile quarterback. 77 speed can get the job done. In reality, he kind of does look like a Ben Roethlisberger regen. So we're definitely going to be keeping tabs and seeing how well Brett Ferdinand does throughout his career. And more importantly, this initial season with the Pittsburgh Steelers. But you got to figure with Le'Veon Bell, with Antonio Brown, Juju Smith-Schuster. You got Ben Dubuque, another Patreon who's actually injured right now. That's a pretty prolific offense. So I hope to God we don't run into the Pittsburgh Steelers this season. Or at least until like the playoffs or the Super Bowl. So we are, yes, taking on the winless Kansas City Chiefs. So we need to do a quick little scouting report to see why they're winless. They have Patty Mahomes as their starting quarterback, and he's not doing so hot. Five TDs to seven interceptions is not great. Kareem Hunt, three touchdowns. I mean, that's a little bit better than what we're running, but we're not really running the ball particularly well. Um, not a whole lot of weapons there. Travis Kelsey only has 35 yards through three games, so you would figure he's their top receiving threat. He's not doing so hot. Uh, what they have on the defensive front, they got Rameek Wilson, their leading tackler, Eric Berry. They got TJ Edwards from Wisconsin, who looks like he's leading the team with three sacks. They got uh, former Patriot Julian Mancini with a sack there as well. He's starting. He got a pick from Houston. I mean, they do have a talented defense, but in reality, coming to our hometown, I mean, I'm, I'm banking that we're going to go undefeated at home and at least get, you know, at least 8 0, plus whatever can happen in the playoffs if we get home field advantage. But uh, this is it, man. We got two games out to the bye week. We can't start thinking about relaxing yet. We have to do the deed against the 0-3 Chiefs. Let's get into it. Oh, Treadell Shorty. He's our wide receiver three. He knows he has to make the most of his playing time. Comes down with the 20-yard catch. Look at this. Oh, he got mossed. I don't know. I mean... Maybe they changed the official ruling of what a catch is here in Madden. That was sick. Especially over Marcus Peters and Eric Berry. Are you kidding me? Oh, let's go, Rawls. Oh, I hate that tackle. So, like, Not many corners will be able to make that tackle. Have the tackle in the butt. I mean, it is Christian Fulton. He was a first-round pick. But come on. You gotta, give me, you gotta give me a little bit of benefit of the doubt that my guy can... Have that get away from the cop speed, as Gus Johnson would say. Look at that up. Get out of here. Oh, that was Luke Keekley. What? I just realized. Luke Keekley. That's because we only have two tight on the roster. We just tried to... He just made an audacious attempt at a catch. Can we get a replay there? So that's tight end Luke Keekley. All right, we got the horrible, pl horrible play action pass, and then we throw it up. Luke Keekley trying to test that Eric Berry, Marcus Peters. Yeah, that's a matchup we want, and he almost came down with it. Crazy things you see in London. Uh, we're rolling here a little bit. First and ten, we're up on the ten yard line. Uh, low scoring battle, man. Even though they haven't won a game, their defense is playing particularly well. One, oh, should have just took the field up straight. McCaffrey has been actually running it fairly well. It's one thing that you look at the offense. We are undefeated, but the one area that we definitely could improve upon is our running attack. Then again, losing our starting running back, Buffalo Jones, uh, real early did not help. But we've been absolutely lethal in the red zone, and we're going to try to maintain that way with a horrific pass. 
that sail just wide on Trendell Shorty. So now it's facing a third and goal. We definitely want to get a touchdown. But you know what I mean? Let's be honest. We signed a Roberto Aguayo. That's what you guys wanted from a stream. And he's been acceptable. Oh, yeah. 6 10 tight end. You know where we're going. You know where we're going. Fit that in. Boom. There you go. It's a cheat code. Thank you for the touchdown. Thank you very much. Next drive. Oh, no. Come on, Greedy. Shaquem Griffin whiffed on the tackle. I'm not going to blame it on his lack of, of limb. We're going to put that more in that Travis Kelsey's a beast. But they are setting them right up in scoring range. Of course, that's, you know, that's the that's the Madden for you, you know. You don't, the whole game doesn't do anything. You finally score, and of course, they're just going to go down the field seamlessly. Let's try to get a stop here. We'll go, we'll go Marshall Law at the edge. Oh, my God. They bubbled it. And Marshall Law picks it up. Let's go. Let's go, defense. And there's a pick six. Just gifting it right back to the... I don't know what we were... Why don't we just run it out? Like how many, we, we already tested Eric Berry and Marcus Peters with Luke Keekley at tight end. Stupid people get stupid prizes. And I guess this goes to stupid play calling gets stupid prizes. Pick six, Eric Berry. That's embarrassing. There you go, 17 seconds left, we're on the foot, we're trying to get into field goal range. Oh my god, what was that throw? Trying to get into field goal range with 14 seconds left, third and four. I mean, we might be able to attempt it from here with Aguayo. There's enough time left on the clock, and even if we don't make it, they pretty much have one play. But then again, Patty Mahomes with that arm strength. Do you really want to give him the opportunity? Oh, let's go. Cheeky screen to McCaffrey. Where's that going to put us? It's going to put us at fourth and inches. You better believe Aguayo's going to be able to knock that one through the uprights. We bought you in for a reason. 53 yards, you gotta make that. I mean, if not, we could probably find a soccer kicker from the greatest soccer team in England, one, uh, Arsenal, to make it. So there we go, that's a perfect kick. And it's good. 10-7 lead, Black Knights, the good guys at halftime. All right, for the worst sack ever in the history of Madden, DeForest Buckner. Who somehow, some way, we're able to add via free agency. Let's just get, a, let's just get a replay at this. All right, so Buckner, beast, absolute beast for the 49ers. It, it might be so bad they might not even show a replay. Oh, they will. Look at this. And okay, he bites. He thinks the running back's gonna get it, so he wants a, you know, strong tackle, hit stick. Okay, so I guess it's slippery. It might be ice, black ice out there. <laughs> oh my God. I think that pass just went to Shaquem Griffin's knob. It's a little nubby. Looked like he got his hands up and it just went right through him. We get a, can we get a replay of that? Let's go back to the replay here, Chuck. And uh, Patty Mahomes drops back. You got Kareem Hunt dropping into coverage there, getting ready to break off. Mahomes sets his feet. There's Shaquem Griffin, 47 in coverage. And it just he, he doesn't have the arm length. If he had a full arm, he might have been able to make that pass break up. Look at that. Are you kidding me? Use the imagination. That's the fully taped up. That's not, that's nothing. That's not prosthetics. Oh, God damn it. All right, first and 10. We're on the 45. We're in their territory. 12 seconds left. We need about, I don't know, 10 yards for a field goal. Oh, my God. Give me out of here. Oh, my God. That was brutal. Six seconds left. I think we had Rawls deep. I think we had the B guy open. We just didn't take it. Do we dare? Do we dare we go with some four verts cheese? I feel like I feel like we should. I feel like we should. The post always the post is always money. Absolute money. We got Greg Olson here. We got Rawls gotta go deep. He's our best deep threat. Alright, let's go. Pink slips. Feeling like Oh, come on, Rawls. If anyone's gonna come up with it, it's gonna be you one-handed. We're going to overtime. Good coverage there, Eric Berry. There's no way. There is no... Oh, my God. That was pathetic. That was like a Benny Hill movie. That was absolutely pathetic, man. Oh, well, they're punting it. I don't know why they're punting it. That's a that's an Andy Reid, let's go for the tie mentality right there. We got to punish them. We have got to punish them. Minute 47, that's more than enough. That's an eternity in Jake Fromm's mind. 
And just like that, Rawls takes us into field goal range. I mean, I don't know how much we want to rely on the Aguayo leg. But look, this is that simple mentality we saw with Doug Peterson in the Super Bowl run. You call conservatively, you got to go 8-8. Eight eight. You got to be an 0-3 Chiefs team. You go for it. You go. You call conservative. You're gonna be like the Jags against the Patriots in the playoffs in the AFC Championship. But if you go for it, you got a big swinging pair. You know what's cajones. You know you don't risk it. No biscuit. Famous Cardinal head coach. Famous Temple Owls head coach Bruce Arians said that. No risk it. No biscuit. And we risked it all, baby. I know it's a regular season, but you know this is a unique atmosphere. Being here in London, you know, it's it's a brand new thing. We want to, we don't want to lose a single game. We want this place to be a protected fortress. So, you think we're gonna play it? Oh my God, let's go, Samuel. Let's go, Samuels. Oh, he's so close. I want that touchdown. We're gonna give McCaffrey a C4 special here. I want. I just want to. You know, that that's just the ultimate fu. I don't even know if Andy Reid, that old man, still coaching up there or not. This is a big old. You want you want to try to grind out, go for the tie. You know, milk the clock in overtime. Yeah, well, I'm just going to run it in with my backup running back. Walk off home run. Game over. Your Black Knights moving to 4-0. Oh. Andy, oh yeah, look at that big old walrus. Oh, I thought we played good. Uh, time is yours. Let's look at the stats here for the Black Knights in particular. Jake Fromm, touchdown and a pick. Not his cleanest performance, but he got the job done. Moved the chains when need to be. Very similar to how he executes and really runs the Georgia Bulldogs offense in college right now. Uh, McCaffrey, very nice game. 82 yards. If the quarters were a little bit longer, he definitely would have went over 100 because the run game was working for sure. Rawls, six catches, 92 yards. Mathis had a touchdown. We got 32 yards for Trendo Shorty as well as an absolute moss over uh, Marcus Peters, which was great. Uh, on the defensive front, we got two tackles for loss from DeForest Buckner. A sack from Marshall Law. A sack from DeForest Buckner. Uh, Shaquem Griffin led the team with five tackles, even though we had a couple. Uh, you know, he was a he was a he was a hand short, and a couple pass deflections. We got the victory. We're moving to 16 and 10, and that's all that matters. So that is gonna do it here for episode eight of the London Black Knights franchise mode. Thank you guys for watching. As always, uh, if you want to support this series and get your own prospect in. Check out the Patreon page in the description below. If it's your first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. And until next time, it's C4 saying peace out.